Got a bunch of, uh... Oh, oh, we got oh, oh, here we go. We got the village. Okay, heals 25 HP upon entering and it gives you a quest. So we're gonna go ahead and put it there. I wanna get that quest uh, right here soon. So let's see, we gotta fight some slimes to get it. Hello everyone, time to grind here. And today I wanted to play Loop Hero some more. So I wanted to give you guys a part two to the Let's Play since you guys seem to really enjoy the first one. Also, uh, my hair, if you haven't been following the channel for a while, I just go way too long without a haircut uh, and then I get it way too short. So I look completely different. So just try to ignore that um, and let's just jump into the game. And so man, Loop Hero, uh, if you haven't seen the first episode of the Let's Play, I would definitely recommend that. Uh, but but we kind of, uh, you know, we're getting a bunch of resources. All we really got was this field kill ch kitchen. We still haven't beaten the first boss or anything like that. So I kind of wanted to take another crack at it, get a couple more runs in um, and see kind of what we can do. So um, with the cards, I think we didn't get any new cards. We're going to just go ahead and keep what we had previously and just jump right into it. So here's our little loop and we're back, back at it again. But man, I, I, I just like, I mean, there's been so many games coming out recently, so many roguelites and stuff. Um, we're gonna just place this to um, increase the chances, I guess it's spawning more slimes. But uh, there's been so much good stuff coming out lately, but my mind just keeps going back to Loop Hero. Um, I, I mean, it's, it is, it's such a unique experience, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually do our mountains up here. There's a little bit more space up here. Uh, we got an ax, obviously. So the goal is, if we think that we are getting a really good build, um, we'll probably try to fight the boss. Um, otherwise, if we don't, if we're not that confident, we might just try to get a bunch of resources to bring back um, to the, uh, you know, to the the base to get a lot of that, uh, you know, out of game progression. Um, we're gonna put our meadows up here. We got a grove. Here, we're gonna just start spawning. We want to start spawning a lot of enemies, and it's so interesting about this game because. Uh, like I've talked about before, um, and I'm gonna, you know, kind of just start placing these things at the beginning here just randomly because, you know, I don't feel like I need to explain, uh, <laughs> like, every little thing here early on because it's kind of just basic stuff. Um, but it's very interesting because you're kind of deciding how difficult you want the game to be. You can just keep spawning a million different, you know, places, um, you know, on the road here to spawn a bunch of enemies. But, you know, on the flip side, I mean, I've had it bite me in the past, but, you know, that's what you got to do if you want to get more resources. So it's just really interesting that you kind of decide all of that as well. And um, we got a road lantern that decreases the maximum number of monsters. Still going to kind of keep hold of these, um, at least the oblivion and the road lantern for now, because um, I don't really feel the need to uh, kind of mess with that stuff right now. But let's go ahead and pause here because we got a lot of stuff. Um, we got a real good, uh, thing that gives us counter. I don't know, maybe counter is a build that we try to go on. Um, obviously this isn't going to be the best. Um, so let's go ahead and build some mountains, get the rocks surrounding them. Um, we had a vampire mansion. Let's get some vampires up in here. Let's get a cemetery up in here. Just making this loop harder, uh, early on here so we can, uh, you know, we can, we can get some stuff. Spawn a chest at the start of each loop. We'll put that. Um, there, enemy adjacents become ghosts. Sure, put it right there. Let's get a lot of ghosts up in here. I ain't no, I ain't no, I ain't scared. I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> I'm so stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't know, I, I don't know, this is, this is so nice, cause like, I tend to like these idle um, or auto battler games. Like this is a way more involved auto battler than normal, but I tend to really enjoy these because it's a lot easier to um, to kind of talk while doing it. So this is the blood grove that we unlocked last run. We can place it near a forest. So maybe we do this and maybe we build up some stuff in this corner here. Um, so let's see, I think these will get attacked by the um, blood grove once they get down to a certain percent of health. Also, we are at half HP. Um, oh, we had a ring here. This gives us more evasion, probably should have that on. Um, ooh, this is just a really good sword. I like having the counter, um, but it's kind of hard to say no to that. Get a vampire mansion down there. I would like to find some sort of regen or anything because other, 
wise, we're kind of just fully relying on these meadows. A um, little better armor. The mountain. I think this is the optimal way to do it. Because, um, what, the mountains get plus 5 HP for each rock near them, right? Does it count for mountains? Oh, or mountain. Okay, never mind. It doesn't really matter what, what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to make it look good, I guess. Ooh, got another one of those blood groves. Um, we'll go ahead and put it right near here. Yeah, let's get this corner real difficult, but with those blood groves. Um, got a real nice shield there. Our defense is going to go up quite a bit. Got some vampires up in here. But I'm really interested to see kind of like what... Ooh, ooh, here we go. Magic damage, counter. Okay, so we got some nice counter stuff here. But I'm really interested to see kind of what that perk tree kind of entails here. Uh, magic damage going up. Which, still don't really know what the magic damage does, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure we'll find out. But we're getting a lot more magic damage. Ooh, nice shield here. Um, ooh, this gives us, this is just objectively better. Gives us some regen per second and the same amount of defense so we can slowly start to kind of build up our health again. But yeah, I don't know, maybe we do like an evasion, um, you know, uh, counter build? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the builds are or anything like that. Um, got a meadow, get more of these mountains. Oh, there was another meadow. Oh, here we go. Okay, whoa, okay, whoa. Let's let's pause here. Um, so this is going to give us vampirism damage to all defense. Doing a little less damage, but I think I'm going to take that, though. Um, do we want this shield? We lose a bunch of defense, but we gain attack speed and evasion. I think so, honestly. I don't know, maybe we go on like an attack speed. That's the thing, like you can start thinking you're wanting to do a specific build and then the game's like, oh, here's like a crazy good weapon or here's a crazy good shield or something. And you're like, I mean, I do know our health is really low though. That's that's what I do know. Um, So do we want a ring that gives us more attack speed or damage? I don't know, maybe, yeah, maybe we go with an attack speed build here because we have a little bit of damage to all, so that will just hurt, you know, everyone more often. And also, if we have any amount of vampirism, we're going to just heal even more often. So I could see that being interesting. Um, what did we get here? Chrono Crystals doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Um, I remember it didn't work for the uh, battlefield, because that's at the start of each loop. Um... I don't know. I think we're going to hold on to that. I think we hold on to that. Look at this guy evading everything. I think our magic damage is... Let's, let's look at this combat. So we have the blue bars, the auto attack. And maybe the stuff below it is its magic damage? I'm not sure. Oh, let's get Vampire Mansion in here. Um, Damage speed? No, I don't want that. I do think we're going to start solidifying a build here with the attack speed and vampirism, maybe damage to all, something like that. Um, damage to all. Ooh. Nah, it's nowhere near as good. See. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is exactly what we wanted. Way more vampirism, get a little bit of regen, and increased attack speed. That's definitely, that's definitely what we're wanting there. So we're doing good. We're about one-fourth of the way to getting to the boss. I'm waiting for one of these to be a mimic. Ooh, damage to all, and we lose the attack speed, but we gain some vampirism, a lot of it. Uh, 8% actually. I don't know. I know vampirism was the most successful build we've had so far in this uh, playthrough, but... I mean, it's hard to argue with it, you know what I mean? Oh, here we go. Okay, we got some We got some actual stuff here. Uh, meadow. Oh, well, yeah, we got a meadow. But we got a treasury, um, which gonna, we're going to build kind of near the mountains to start getting more materials. Like that. 
It's kind of weird. We, I think, want to be doing these in like three by threes because that's what kind of builds up the, um, that's what causes the harpies to come out. And I'm assuming like, just like every enemy, we're wanting to spawn as much uh, harpies as we can. Um, this is a really, really nice shield, but it's at the point now where, ah, oh, see, even though the attack speed, I mean, that shield is just so much better. That's what I'm kind of meaning. Like sometimes you want to go on a build, but um, we did just find two rings though. Also, there is another ring spot. There's like other spots that like I don't have. So I'm assuming that's like in the progression there. Um, ooh, counter. Oh, those are both really, really good, but they aren't what I'm going for here. I think I do want to go, I don't know, maybe just, yeah, vampirism build here, attack speed. We did get a lot of mountains here that I need to be playing. It's like, yeah, it's an auto battler, but I have like a million things going on at once that I still need to be worrying about. Um, also, I am noticing that every time, you know, it gets to the bottom, the re they're actually going into the resources. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know, we'll spawn skeletons here. Some, I want to like, yeah, definitely make sure to surround this thing here. Get a bunch of those resources. Um, okay. Starting to pick up here a little bit. We're almost at halfway of the, uh, to get to the boss of what we've built. I don't know. I think we go for the boss. I think we, I think we can try to kill him. I think with a vampirism build, I think that would do well against a single target, which is what the boss is. So getting a lot of rings here. Got another treasury. Okay. Okay. We got a lot of good goodies here. Um, getting these meadows down here, just making nice little meadows here. So the shield, um, just gives us a ton of defense. Uh, this gives us defense, magic damage, counter, and evasion. I think that shield is, what do, wait, what did we have? Evasion, this gives us some counter. Yeah, I think that's better. Um, any of these rings do, ooh, that's a lot of regen per second, but um, we're kind of going with the attack speed, vampirism build here. Anything interesting? A lot of regen stuff. That could be an interesting uh, build too, just have a ton of regen on. So it's like, it doesn't even matter, you know, the damage output you're doing, you're just doing a billion, you know, you're healing a billion health a second. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Um, it does a ton of damage and it's a little less vampirism, a little less of that attack speed. But I mean, that's just a giant jump in damage, which, you know, by default does help with the vampirism. Uh, we have a shield here that's now giving us vampirism. That's definitely going to take priority, even though it's a little worse. Cause I think, I think we, we gotta go into this vampirism build here. Cause yeah, even in combat, I mean, we're kind of staying, I mean, we're only losing a little bit of health. Okay, got a ton of stuff here. Um, another vampirism thing, but not, not only it's as good. Magic damage counter evasion. I think that's a better thing for us right there. Let's get some of these mountains down here. Might actually do a chrono crystal like here, just to get the cemetery. Spawning more skeletons. Which to be fair, we're kind of getting a little bit a little bit low. Which either means I don't I don't know what that means actually. <laughs> I'm not intelligent. Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? Just a nerd playing loop hero. My mountains look, I know you can't really see, um, I know I'm hiding a little bit of the outside. I, I try to put my camera where it blocks the least amount of UI, just unfortunately the entire game is kind of UI and where you're wanting to build stuff. Um, let's see here. Damage to all, defense, this gives us, okay, this is definitely a better ring. Same amount of vampirism, we just have a little bit more evasion. Okay, sounds good to me. Road lantern. I kind of want to save a lot of these things for when like stuff starts hitting the fan and I'm like, oh crap, I need to get rid of these enemies. We are kind of slowly losing our health though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. 
I think we gotta somehow bump up our vampirism. I mean, our armor's not giving us vampirism. Everything else is. It would be nice to find a nice little armor piece. Um, okay, let's get all this placed. Meadow, meadow, rock. Uh, we'll place a grove over here. It's kind of boring over there. This, this is definitely the hard corner here. Also, there's a lot of goblins here. I guess there's a goblin camp. Oh, they're evading a ton. Do they all rage? No, just that guy does. Okay, I'm glad we're killing the guy that rages. I wonder if it's just random where the goblin camps appear. I need to read what that goblin camp said. We're over halfway also to uh, fighting the boss. I think we just go for it, honestly. So spawns a goblin on adjacent tile once a day, appears for every 10 mountains. Oh, okay. So I just, the more mountains I spawn, more of those will spawn. Um. Oh, there's another goblin camp. I didn't even know. Okay, I guess that's, the, yeah, that's going there. Oh, also, I didn't even see. We got a way better rapier there. Um, damage tall evasion. Yeah, no, we, we need to keep the vampirism for sure. And obviously the more mountains we place, you know, the more health we're going to be getting. Um, so I don't know, spawn a grove up here, some more rocks. Yeah, I need to be building the actual mountains. So, I mean, the harpies are going to start coming, but it just gives me a lot more stuff, especially those materials. Um, yeah, I, I don't really see, I might put a road lantern down here, uh, just cause that combat here is about to, oh man, like when they're evading, oh my gosh, they're just evading so much. I like missed like all these attacks. Finally killed that vampire, which it would have been better to kill the goblin leader first. Okay. Yeah. We're, we're in trouble here. If, if I at any point think we're going to die before this boss. Uh, we definitely are going to be uh, skedaddling out of here. Um, I'm going to place a road lantern here. Get rid of some of those enemies. Um, get rid of some of the enemies over there. Um, yikes. And I think I'm going to destroy this vampire mansion. I don't think I want any more vampires over there. Because we need to we need to regain some of our health and these vampires are making it very hard to do so. Oh, we got another blood grove. Those are real nice. Man, yeah, we're taking a lot of damage here. Okay, let's see. Do we get anything good? Uh, defense. It's increasing our attack speed, but we're losing some of that vampirism and regen per second. So is that really worth it? We're losing... One de defense, losing 0.6 regen, but our attack speed is going up tremendously. I think I do it. I think I do it. Oh my gosh, this is making me want to just go like an attack speed build, but I can't, I, I need to heal. I mean, that's that's the that's the bottom line here. I, I, it's gotta happen, so. I'll place another blood grove there. Okay. Yeah, we're getting a little low. It's a new day, so we gained some health, but... Yeah, if we get low, I mean, I don't... I don't know what we can do beyond, like, go back to the... The thing, get another mountain down. One more space, and we're gonna get another mountain, I think, that's gonna... Uh, get us a ton of resources, so maybe we just do that and then dip out of here. So let's see, yeah, we do that. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Maybe I have to put mountains next to each other, not just the rocks. Yeah, I think we just stay here as long as we can. I don't think we have a chance at fighting this boss right now. Unless we get some crazy good stuff, but I mean, we're real low, so... I don't have much uh, confidence here. Oh, especially with everything coming back in. Like, I mean, there's about to be a bunch of combat here. Like, can I, I'm gonna road lantern there. I'm going to destroy this cemetery. I'm gonna destroy this cemetery. 
I just want to get this chest, quite honestly. Give me this chest and then we can get out of here. <laughs> Nothing good. Okay, if, if these are somehow good, a bunch of regen, bunch of counter. I mean, ah. Do we maybe just do a bunch of counter and regen? I mean, that could be a, a play here, right? Like, because you just heal up a bunch and you just let them deal damage to you, but you're just countering the damage while you're healing a ton, right? Damage to all. Okay, let's let's fight this ghost here. Oh, what is that flesh golem? Okay, please tell me I don't lose here. Please tell me I don't lose here. I can't lose like this. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, okay, we got so much good stuff here, but I mean, are we gonna stay though? I mean, we got 140 HP. So this gives us vampirism. You know what, no, I'm not, I can't. I can't, I mean, that, that's a bunch of regen per second. I don't, I don't think we can. Let's, let's just see. Oh, I'm still entangled somehow? Okay, no, 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 we're out of here. We're gonna keep 60% of the resources. I'm not, we're, I'm not about to lose all of that progress. So, we're back here. Can we build anything yet? We still can't build anything? So we need one more of whatever this is, food supply. I don't know how we get more food supply. Because here we're missing stable metal. And here we're missing... What are we missing? Food as well. And we're missing stable wood there. So, okay. Well, I guess we just go back out. Um, I don't know. Let's adjust our deck here a little bit. Um, I don't know. There's not much like I'm actually... Oh, we can have less cards. So, like, I don't think that this... Um, Let's see here. I don't know if I, yeah, the Chrono Crystal can get out of here. And I think that's it. I mean, I don't really know what the spiders and stuff give me. I'm not sure. But we'll, okay, yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll, Cause yeah, those, the gem crystals, I, I, I don't have a high enough IQ. I don't have a high enough IQ for that, so. Okay, so maybe, I mean, obviously we'll play the build based on what we get here. Um, we got a vampirism shield right off the bat. Um, we'll build our mountains kind of down here so you can actually see me. Um, pebble, 10 pieces of pebbles from one preserved, form one preserved rock. Is that what I was needing? I don't know. I probably should like be paying attention to like more of what I actually need, but we're learning. We're learning the game here. Got a shield. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, it replaces that. No, I don't want to replace that. Okay, we got a ring with some evasion. We got a vampire mansion that we'll add. Um, down here, we'll get a ton of those. We'll build our meadow just up here in the top left because that doesn't really matter. 12 rations form a whole full form a whole food supply. Okay, so I think we just got to play more I don't think I like necessarily did anything wrong, you know um, I think I just got to play more obviously which I mean this is a roguelite like it, it, it's kind of cool to like Have this where we're just going on a loop getting resources going back to the town like it, it provides a really satisfying gameplay loop also What are these shields? What are these shields? I can't wait to like, I'm assuming like, I get more of these things, um, you know, with that little progression tree system. Really wanna like build up our town and stuff. Another meadow, battlefield here. We'll do that. I don't, I don't really know where the, I'm sure there's a specific part. I know it says at the beginning of the loop, but I don't. I don't know. Oh, also enemy level. I didn't, I just noticed this. Loot counter, or loot counter affects enemy levels, affects the level of equipment found. Oh, that's how that works. That's how that works. Okay, let's see. What is up with these shields? This is ridiculous. Okay, so we get a real nice ring. That's obviously good. We're getting some regen, attack speed counter, just kind of all around the board, um, which is real nice. 
Um, Blood Grove. I don't think I can place this anywhere yet because I don't have a forest. But yeah, maybe we make this area kind of a little hard. I'm going to start separating it a little more. I feel that's what I need to do um, versus like stacking every Because when I stack everything in one area, it kind of gets to the point where like there's so many enemies in a single combat. Even if I have vampirism, I'm not able to like actually gain that much health because obviously, you know, there's a ton of ton of stuff hitting me at once. I'm also really interested to see what other cards we eventually... Ooh, two blood groves. Okay. This could be real nice. See if we get something good from the chest. Ooh, okay, here we go. Uh, vampirism. Damage to all. Regen. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, so we're gonna lose the vampirism, but we're gonna gain a bunch of defense and regen, so I'll take that. So it's like, yeah, like, I don't want to just do a vampirism build, but, like, it's what I'm being given. Um, also, a lot of good stuff here. Evasion, more damage. No, I don't care about any of that. I'm assuming we also gain new types of builds and items and stuff as well the further we get. I'm assuming there's, like, maybe, like, a blacksmith person or something. I could totally see. Any of that interesting? Nope. There we go. Okay, so here's the grove. So I think we spawn that right there and we do a blood grove. Um, blood grove there. So, not the- actually, it would have been better to have like a blood grove here. Right there. Um, so it would have hit the most, but... It is what it is. Um, another spider thing. I think- I think we can stack a little bit more in here with the two blood groves. So like now here's a million people here. I mean we we did it. I mean that was that was not bad at all. Um, we're gonna build a treasury up here, next to the, um, next to the meadows that we're doing. We build a vampire mansion up here. We want to spread them out a little bit here. The vampires don't spawn their own. They just add vampires to. Uh, things next to it. Yeah, those those blood groves, man. That's the way to do it. Uh, cemetery. We'll spawn a cemetery right here, just so there's. I'll get a little bit of vampires there. Got that. So we now have an orb of expansion. Okay. So I guess these are the normal resources that all then like build into like bigger like actual resources. Oh, whoa. Whoa here. What we get? Uh damage. Okay, vampirism. Guess guess we're going vampirism. Okay, what is this? This is nice regen, magic damage counter. I like the regen there. Because I think that's the problem. We just start getting like, oh, we got a goblin camp down here. Which means the blood groves could affect one of them. Um, I don't know. We'll build a grove up there. Get a little bit more uh, spreading out. If stuff, too much stuff spawns here, we can um, put some lanterns down there, which is always nice. A rock. Harpy's coming at us. Argus is going over there, so we're gonna fight it. These spiders give us a lot of stuff. I have to say, it's pretty nice. Um, another treasury, put them up there so we can just get the meadows. Um, also, I think like these meadows are more powerful, not by much, but it heals three HP at the start of each day instead of healing two. And I wonder if that's because it's next to the treasury. It very well could be. So, okay, here we got a big, big, big boy battle here. Got a lot of mountains and meadows and stuff. Let's see. Attack speed counter. Okay, so maybe we go a regen counter build here. I kind of want to try that. Ooh, 
Oh, well, that's just a, a worse version of the regen thing, so we're not gonna worry about that. But see, yeah, that's a blooming meadow, so I think that's a thing. Okay, a lot of stuff gonna be down here. Yeah, I would love to try doing a, a just full counter regen build. Um, ooh, ooh, this is this is more what we want. This gives us more of the counter, a little less of the vampirism, but it's it's got the counter and it's got the regen per second. I I think the counter is being effective. I can't really fully tell. Like anytime we have downtime here, you can just see like my health just going up like that. So what are these? A blood clot? Oh, that's a that's a powerful guy. I haven't seen those before, I don't think. So I wonder if just the longer the game goes, like the more type of stuff you end up seeing. Ooh, two nice pieces of stuff. Uh, don't really care about any of them though. See, I'm trying to pay attention to the counter. Counter to. Yeah, I'm trying to like pay attention to like what I'm actually getting out of doing the counters, but it's kind of hard to tell. Um, this gives us some more counter, some more evasion. Um, definitely equip that. We're gonna lose some of the vampirism though, but that's okay. We're almost halfway to fighting the, uh, the boss here. But I mean, like, even like, I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about this gameplay. Like, just knowing that, like, oh, I'm getting all of these resources to build up my town. Also, we are losing a lot of health here. This harpy is, uh, it's hurting us. And it keeps healing. I w if we had just killed that harpy to begin with, it would have been a lot better. Okay, so here I kind of want to start figuring this out. I'm going to put a lantern down here. And I'm going to put a lantern down here. And I'm going to put a lantern down here. Because we need to we need to calm down a little bit, okay? We got to... Gotta calm down a little bit. We gotta give us some time to regen more health. Cause yeah, this regen isn't, it's not working in the way I want it to. I don't know, the problem might be we just have so little base damage. I mean, look at this. Are we already gonna like die here? This is insane. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff, but where are we? We're right here. I'm gonna delete. Um, a grove there. Um, man, regen. Well, this is just for the time being a lot better of a sword. Gives us a little bit more vampirism. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a little bit further. I can see how those vampires are kind of hurting hurting me a little bit here. Um, let's get these rocks down. That'll give me more HP. Um, man, but yeah, I don't I don't want to throw. I don't want to lose all my resources. If I get down to like a hundred health, honestly, I'm gonna call it because I can't. Can't be losing this. Um, okay, here's more. Okay, 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 okay. A lot more attack speed and it's less of the counter though, but it's giving us way more regen per second and it's giving us evasion. So, oh, but I mean, look at this. Look at the amount of spiders here. Do we think we can do that? I, I think we can at least, come on, I believe, I believe. These spiders haven't been that big of a problem. 
Yeah, the... Okay. That's not really the problem. The blood groves are helping out a lot there. Um... Oblivion. I'm destroying this vampire mansion. That's what I'm doing here. I think this is doable without the vampire mansion. I think that is what is making this so bad. I just want to stay alive a little bit longer. I don't I don't have faith in like fighting a boss here. But I do have faith in Oh, there's a lot of goblins down here actually. We might just okay. That's a lot of goblins. Mmm. I, th I think we gotta call it. I, I hate to say it, but plus there's like that special monster guy that has messed me up before. We gotta head back. I hate to do it though, but okay, build. We can build things now, guys. We can build it. We can either get, okay. We can either, so obviously this would let us start, start with the basic warrior gear. Mox ability to craft tools for the camp if the supply depot is built. What is the supply depot? Is that somewhat something up here? Supply depot. Okay, well either way, Herbalist Hut. Uh, potions heal 4% of max HP. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are refilled at the camp, unlocks the swamp card. Or we gave the gymnasium. Uh, unlocks the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters and expeditions, unlock the village card. I kind of want that, I, I want, yeah. Also, we can't even get the smithy. So, yeah, let's get a gymnasium here. I'm gonna build the gymnasium. What was this? This was our field kitchen. Oh yeah, also, I forgot we could like upgrade these, right? It would just, what, give camps item slots. Are these these, probably? But okay, either way though. Yeah, we're gonna build the gymnasium. So if the kitchen's right there, gymnasium can be like right here, yeah. Hmm, so that how it so that how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. You too could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Now nah, I already know all I need to know. Leave learning to the kids. Your first lesson, learn like learning. Learn to like learning. That would make life easier for both of us. Why 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 did I need to be so passive aggressive there? I don't understand. Um Unlocks the village card. If we upgrade it, we can unlock the town card. Ooh. So now we unlock the ability to gain special traits. That's what I'm interested in. So let's let's go on another expedition here. Um, we unlocked the village card here. Um, heals 15 plus 5 times the loop HP upon entering. Gives you a quest. Okay. Well, I don't see yeah, a screw the cemetery. Let's get a village up in here. Um... Because I don't, I don't really know the difference between, you know, I'd rather I'd have a, I probably want the grove so I can have the blood grove. Okay, so let's, let's freaking get some quests at the village. I mean, this is, that's so cool. Okay, this is probably our last expedition we go on here. Oh, what is this? What, we have a whole new bar here. Heroes, health points, and experience, dude. This is awesome. This is awesome. Also, yeah, let's equip the sword, equip the ring. Got a different ring, damage to all. Probably evasion's better than that. So um, we have a grove here. Let's build a, what well, would be real good to do it here? We could build a grove here and a blood grove on the corner that hits all of these tiles there. So maybe we just build a little power spike of enemies there. Got an oblivion if we need to use it. Don't know what these, uh like orbs are above the cards. I'm not sure. But either way, start building our mountains up here. Got a shield. Oh, we got a lot of stuff there, okay. Um, we could probably build a vampire mansion, screw it. Honestly, right? Um, I mean, we have this blood grove here. As long as we don't go overboard. I think that's what I've been doing. I keep going overboard. I, I make it way too hard. This might be a little hard here. Even with the blood... Oh, no, okay. It's not too bad. Um, better shield there for sure. Get the rocks in here. Road lantern, spider cocoon. We'll do a spider cocoon down here. 
I want to make this corner a little bit difficult with the help of the blood grove, obviously. Get a treasury down there. Though also, it would be smart to kind of place things around, like, this camp, it heals me right after fighting all of the hard stuff. So, like, I don't know if it would be better to have it the other way around, where I'm, like, healing more right before a big fight, or, like, I do a big fight, and then I heal up from it, you know? I don't I don't know what is the, uh, the play there. Build our meadows up here. Got a bunch of, uh, oh, oh, we got, oh, oh, here we go. We got the village. Okay, heals 25 HP upon entering and it gives you a quest. So we're gonna go ahead and put it there. I wanna get that quest uh, right here soon. So let's see, we gotta fight some slimes to get it, but this is gonna be so cool. It's a better shield probably. Okay, let me get these meadows down real fast. Okay. New quest, what are, what, what, what's the quest? I don't, I mean, I, I think I got more experience maybe? Is that what the quest is? Oh, oh, there's a, there's like a quest icon over someone's name. Quest goal plus 200%, 200% HP? Wait, so I kill this? Wait, quest goal, oh. It has plus 200% HP. Well, probably good that I'm killing the vampire first. Okay, so let's see. So I guess the, the thing is to kill someone. Is he healing? He has plus 10% vampirism. Actually, let's pause here. This, this ring's gonna help us out here. This is a way better shield there, okay. Quest done! So what, we just, did we get a lot of like, I don't know what we got. Um, we had a good sword. I don't know if it was because of that or if we, um, or kind of what happened there. Maybe we just got like a lot of experience for doing it. So I think the spiders instantly get eaten by the blood. 50% HP left. Well, it's percent. So I guess they're not automatically, but like I hit them a single time. Yeah. And they're, they're taking damage here. I guess we got a goblin camp over here, but it's right after the village, so it's not too bad because we'll heal up a little bit. Except I think it's only, what, 20, 30 HP? So yeah, not a lot, but... At this point, don't know what the build that we're wanting to go on is, but... So what, we got another quest, right? Actually, oh, wait, wait a minute here. Um, this gives us way more max HP, more defense, more attack speed, and evasion. I probably want that on. Ooh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Just put on a whole suit of armor, and now we're like, nope. All right, putting on another one. Come on, give us another plate of armor. We're getting close to leveling up here. This corner is gonna be a difficult corner here. Also, I need to see who even has the, uh, the quest marker on him. Oh, that seems like a good ring. Okay, let's pause here. Okay, magic damage. So I think magic damage is like the big burst of stuff that we're getting here. Um. I don't think, unfortunately, that's that's the best, though. This, that's nice. That gives us some good regen here. Uh, I am gonna... I don't think I need to Road Lantern, actually. These spiders ain't nothing, man. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What? Choose a new trait. So every time we level up, we get a new trait now. So articles of protection after receiving this effect and after every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection that equals 65% of his max HP. All damage to it is dealt ignoring defense. Survivalist, if your HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. Ooh. Or sur surveyor, plus 0.5% loop HP for an adjacent roadside tile while passing a tile. Okay. 
So this gives us just a ton of uh, phantom HP to kind of protect the HP. This thing, I, I think I want this. We'll get that. So every time, so we did it right now and also after every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection that is equal to 65% of his max HP. So we probably just try to get a ton of max HP. Um, the, play, playing the blood grove here doesn't get, it gives me what, three tiles? These two here and that one up there. It's probably not, oh, wait, wait, let's just build a grove here. And then I could do that. Get those three, another blood grove there. That's probably the play. Um, okay. Got one of these flesh golems here. Okay, so we can see my protective health here. And that's just gonna give me time to heal up a little bit. I'm liking this. I'm liking all the added depth here to the, the thing. Oh my gosh. Got a ton of stuff here, okay. Um, so we definitely wanna get our max HP up as much as possible. Um, and this might give us more time to get some regen up in here. Um, so let's see, out of the rings here, we have that and that 24912 vampirism. This is giving us more regen. This is giving us more vampirism. I think we, I wanna try the regen again. I truly do here. Um, regen. And then maybe we just try to get like a super crazy powerful, you know, weapon. Damage to all. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, we'll create a spider thing up here. Make it a little bit harder up there. Man. Yeah, so every time we get to the loop, we get that bar filled up of our... That's nice, because that just allows us to make sure we're fully at, like, full HP. I, I feel like we're going to just always be at full HP now if we have a little bit of regen. Unless, I don't know, is that an excuse for us to, like, not worry about that? Is that an excuse for us to be really aggressive because we're going to constantly be getting the shield? I don't really know. I don't know, you know? Um, we'll do that. Get, start putting meadows around that. Still putting rocks around that. Ooh, another village. We want more of those quests. We'll put that right here. Oh, a bandit camp. It appears every two village tiles you do summons a bandit on an adjacent tile. Bandits prefer villages. Oh, okay. We're getting feisty over here, I guess. That's cool. There's so many little interactions here. Like... Oh, we did also um, get some stuff here. This gives us an insane amount of regen, which I guess is what we're going for. Um, and this could be like another good use to do counter because we're able to take all of those hits. But at this point, I do feel like I committed and I kind of want to commit, you know, to the regen. Though like, the question is, oh, this guy's got the quest. Oh no. And he's gonna be rage too. We're taking a ton of damage here, okay. Okay, we just gotta fight the guy we have a quest for. He's raged though. But I mean, with our, I mean, look at this, our regen, we're not, I mean, we're losing health, but very, very slowly. That wasn't bad at all. I think, I don't know, I think this regen thing is, is the way to go. All right, I mean, oh my God, another village, dude, screw it. Let's just stack up on quests here. I'm gonna spread them out for the healing to spread out a little bit. I'm gonna put a grove up there. I'm gonna wait on the vampire. Actually, you know what? I. I don't want to get too aggressive, but I don't know. Maybe we just do a vampire one right there. Just a little bit of vampireness up there. Okay, who did it make? It made one of the spiders that we're about to fight have a quest on him. This is sick. This is absolutely so cool. I mean, and there was like a million things on this perk tree. Like in the village, like base building stuff. So like... I, I, I am telling you guys, this is easily... Also, we, we do not have a cool weapon at all. Um, but this is easily like one of my favorite like roguelites that are coming out. Like I'm, I truly think this is gonna be one of my games of the year. I'm taking a lot of damage here. We got the quest done though. Which I, like, 
gives you a quest. I, I'm pretty sure the quests just give me XP. I'm like 99% sure that that's what's, what they are. The reason I'm also spreading out the quest is because I don't want like to be in a combat with like a million, a million of those. Dude, screw it, another village, which means we got another bandit camp, but hey, I don't care. I don't care. I am gonna, I'm gonna wait though. I don't, I feel like I could summon more bad stuff, but I just, I want to be careful because yeah, I have been a little bad about that um, before. Ooh, this is a, wait. So we would lose a bunch of vampirism for what? More defense? No, I don't think that's worth it. No, of course that's not worth it. What was I even looking? I think I was just like looking at the region. I was like, oh, I want regen. That's good. That's good, right? <laughs> I'm gonna summon a spider up here though. Um, okay. I wanna make it like a little bit harder, but I gotta make sure not to go overboard. Cause I think we might be able to kill the boss here. We did get a blood grove too. Uh, is this any good? Magic damage. Maybe that- oh, maybe we like do- we... Damage to all, attack speed, vampirism. No, I, I think I still keep that. But... Where do I want- I'm gonna create another blood grove. Um... Where would be good to put one? Here? Okay, I'm gonna put one there, cause those- there's like two things. Go oh, I had a grove. I could have like placed it exactly where I wanted, but got a quest to kill one of the goblins down there. It's our new quest. We're gonna about to get another, about to level up. Um, oh, this is exciting. Okay. Also, hopefully when we fight the boss, we will have our shield there. Um, attack speed up, defense. I don't know, I think I get rid of the vampirism now just to have a ton more defense and that attack speed. I think, I think that could be useful. And we killed that thing so fast. Oh, hey, I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. That's because I'm not, I see. And you think you can just wander these parts without consequences? Times are rough, you know, nothing to bite, nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What, think you're better than us? No, did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Cause I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight and it's the only thing you will keep today. So it's a bandit. Oh, that was because I created the villages. Dude, he's got nothing on me. He's not really... Dude, get out of here. Come to think of it, murderers and thieves are part of this world too. If my mission is to return everything back to normal again, should I be happy they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of this world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. <laughs> okay, and we're about to fight the goblin get the quest. So we're at 270 th 273 experience. So we'll pay attention once we kill this guy. We're taking a little bit of damage here. Okay, yeah, we gained a lot of experience for killing him. A lot extra. Mountain, okay. We're getting close, we're about 75% there. Dude, every time I look at this other monitor to like see my recording and I see my like hair, I'm just like, I don't know, it's 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 the hold-in cycle. I literally just go way too long without getting a, uh, a haircut. And then I just get it so short. I just go through the cycle. Here's two bandits now. Oh, we got a, we get a new perk thing here. We leveled up. We leveled up, okay, let's see. Every morning, the hero's sword is filled with sunlight, causing its next attack to deal two damage to all. I don't really like that. Plus 0.5% loop HP for an adjacent roadside tile. The hero leaves 10% of his findings in a camp when passing through... Wait, the hero leaves 10% of his findings in a camp when passing through a campfire tire. Oh, so we just get all of our... Is that... I think that's, I mean, the other, the other, there's other ones I don't really like. So I'm gonna do that just because I'm going aggressive here and trying to fight the boss. Because if, I re, if I'm reading that right, 
I think it's meaning that um, every time I pass through a camp, I just drop off some of my supplies. So it could be pretty good that way if I fight the boss and lose. Um, also, I'm gonna road lantern here. No, did I get, I, it got rid of the guy that I had the quest on. Oh, come on. Out of all of the people you could have got rid of, it got rid of my, uh, my quest guy. But I mean, I guess that's fair. That's on me. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a big fight. This is a big, big boy fight. Gonna get a lot of stuff. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Oh, come on. How are you gonna evade that? Okay. We are about to get a lot of that, um... Okay, I gotta, I gotta check on all this stuff right now. Mountain. Meadow. 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 Um, battlefield. Yeah, let's put it, like, somewhere really far away from a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, okay. I think, okay, we're gonna road lantern again, get rid of some of these enemies, and we're going to get rid of the vampire mansion. At this point, game's getting hard enough, we don't need that vampire mansion there. I need to heal up. I Right after I get past this corner, I'm gonna get all that shield again, which is nice. Also, I didn't even look at all of this stuff. I probably should do that. Um, attack speed, regen, evasion, yes, yes please. Um, magic damage. Regen, okay, that's that's a lot better too. Regen per sec, vampirism, counter. That's insane. Okay, okay, we got a lot more powerful. Also, I need to figure out how these mountain peaks work. I think I just gotta put more multiple mountains together versus like separating them with the rocks. That's my that's my guess here. Ooh, that seems like a real nice weapon. Okay, damage, regen. Ooh, that's just giving us a ton of regen per second. A ton more damage. We lose some of the attack speed and some of the evasion. I think we go for it, especially when we're like so low with health. We're about to fight a gargoyle. I'm glad we're killing the back line first. Just wanna like, yeah, get them out of the way. Oh, never mind. I guess the gargoyle was like a one-hit thing. Um, damage to all, more evasion, vampirism. Yeah, that's probably better. I don't know. It's like it's. I'm trying to do certain builds, but like, I don't know. I don't know if that's actually the play. I mean, I, it seems like I'm just always equipping whatever like the best thing I have is. So. Also. Also. I'm getting real close to fighting this boss. I think I'm going to save the Blood Grove for when I find out where the enemy is. Like, where the boss spawns. Because if it works on bosses, that'd be pretty nice. And there's a lot of stuff in this floor right here. Oh my gosh, we just, they ate through all of our shield there. I mean, we got a lot of stuff for it, but... Okay, what is this? Getting us a lot of, oh, okay. Damage to all, regen, a lot of defense. That's real nice. Um, okay, let's get these mountains. Vampire Mansion, Battlefield. Might as well put another Battlefield there. Um, Road Lantern. When I get another thing I can delete, I'm probably going to delete one of the Vampire Mansions. For the time being though, for the time being, I really want to save this Blood Grove for when the boss is going to spawn. And we're getting real close to getting the boss to spawn. I'll tell you that. I'm hoping it's right after the campfire somewhere. So that way um, I can get my shield. Which I guess I'm the one that determines when I'm spawning it. Those gargoyles do not have any health whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, we're at full HP here, honestly, so... Ooh, treasury. We're, we're, like, right there to get in the boss to spawn. 
Also, whoa, 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 that's a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna road lantern here, that's insane. I'm glad we didn't get rid of the guy that I have the quest on. I would have been sad if we had done that two times in a row. I don't know if we're gonna get enough experience to get another trait though. I mean, but yeah, this this game seems like you could have hundreds and hundreds of hours of uh, gameplay here. Got the quest done. Oh, that was a quest too. So we're gonna get two quests done in a row here. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be enough because as soon as we place one more thing, I'm pretty sure um, the thing is spawning. Quest done. Yeah, I think we just let it spawn. Let's see. No? I guess we're real close to it spawning. I'm not gonna place anything that makes it harder though. I refuse to do that. Cause I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Cause also the day and night time, it keeps going even when you're in combat. So all of the places that are like, oh, we gain spawn one enemy every time day passes. The longer these fights are taking me, the more and more things are spawning, plus they're getting leveled up the more, you know, the higher the loop level is. We are taking an insane amount of damage here. What? Oh my gosh, and they can turn into ghosts too. I guess we have that on. Oh, because the chest, that's what it is. Oh my gosh, they're evading so much there. Okay, okay, village. Let's put a village here so we can heal up. Boss is gonna spawn on our campfire, which I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, can we spawn? How would I get a blood grove to spawn where I want it to? We didn't get anything to destroy tiles. Um, grove, I could spawn one. Nah, I can't really spawn one where I want. So I don't know, we'll just create a blood grove there. It's not gonna really matter, but okay. Let's get to the boss. Can we do it? Can we fight the boss? Ooh, got a real good thing. A lot more regen, a little less vampirism, but a lot more max HP. Is that worth it? Damage to all, that doesn't really help us. I think the vampirism surprisingly is better because we're, we're mainly focusing on a one-on-one -on -one situation right now. Oh, come on, how are you gonna evade? Get out of here, get out of here. Ooh, that might be good to equip on right before the fight, that evasion, 15%, because the regen will be nice, but. Also, because the, the boss is on the campfire, I wonder if my articles of protection will apply. Oh, we might actually level up. We might level up right before, I would love that. Cause this is a quest guy, right? 435, I didn't get as much experience as I was hoping here. Unless I can get a lot of experience off of these guys. Which I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm getting as much experience as I would hope for. Okay, come on, come on. Goblins, don't deal too much damage to me. Oh, I got the blood grubs here, so. Maybe I can get some good loot here. Okay, we're about to do it. We're literally about to do it. So, okay. Do we want more regen or do we want some counter? Damage to all defense. Nah, I think that's still the play. And I think, I think we just go in. I think we just go in. Six. The only thing I might switch is the regen for evasion. Yeah. We're gonna, oh, no, 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 ooh, ooh, let's equip that. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and we did get that extra health. We did get it. How is it possible? Shut up, we've got a score to settle. <laughs> Researcher, health and damage are increased by 5% for every Lich's Palace at the start of every battle. Oh, okay. Okay, then. Okay, I believe. I believe. We have all of that extra health. Come on. Come on. I think we can do it, because we're gonna get him to about half HP by the time we get to our HP, even taking damage, and we have a little bit of regen. 
We have a little bit of regen here. Come on. Come on. I think we can do it. Oh, come on. Come on. Nice! Dude, that Blood Grove did so much work. It dealt so much damage. Uh, nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. Now put everything back like it was before. I can't. I've already completed my task, even if the result is not perfect. You are in no position to refuse, you sack of bones. He's already received everything I could gather. I just wanted to see how our crusade against the universe would end to witness what would come of it. My presence is no longer required. Who is he? I get it. You're connected somehow, right? That's why. You will find out soon enough. This anomaly will not escape his attention. Now my explanations would be meaningless to you so spare me your wheezing and just die if that sack of bones was telling the truth i have a long journey ahead i will build my whole world from scratch if i have to and the skull of that monster will be the first back in its foundation choose one reward two percent chance to get a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk uh time flies 25 percent faster five percent chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy um, or a resource assortment. Let's do this because 2% chance of getting a whole resource sphere instead of a chunk could be really awesome. The boss has been defeated, but your journey doesn't have to end. You can retreat to the camp with all your findings, but remember the world will forget all your deeds. It always does. You keep all your resources. Yeah, we'll, we'll get out of here. We'll get out of here. Everybody listen, the lich is dead. The curse has been lifted, but what lich and what curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't remember the dead sorcerer, the one in a fur coat, holding a scepter, all surrounded by star nebulas, floating above the world in his shining wings and eating a it piece by piece? That's strange. Everything looks the same around here. Why? I guess he's not the only reason for this darkness, then. Huh, the skeleton has mentioned him. Whoever he is, he must have something to do with the obliteration of the world. It seems that I have no other option but to continue my expedition. So we gotta figure out what's what's going on, but we killed the lich, though. So, um, also, what can we, we could probably build something up here. So let's go ahead and get a herbalist, or herbalist hut. Potions heal, uh, some max HP. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are refilled, and we get the swamp card. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's get a, um, thing. We'll put that to the right here. Oh my gosh, she looks, she looks crazy. It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil and that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. But the real miracle is that all of these healing uh, policies and bombs still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice to not to lose more to disease. And these potions can also help you. Take a bottle or two on your trip and your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher. So awesome. I just want to see the new card I got too. We got a swamp, swamps, uh, uh, spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here, except for the potions, they are still on your side. Wait, all healing effects are lethal? Does that mean like if I heal that like I take damage or I'm dealing damage or something? I don't know, but either way, um, man, now we have a new expedition here. We have chapter two. They have more abilities. They have more uh, strength. They gain more strength per loop. Um, Man, additional class stats. Man, I'm, this is awesome. So, okay, well, this has been my second part of our uh, Loop Hero Let's Play. Uh, if you are enjoying this, definitely let me know in the comments down below if you wanna keep seeing me make more of these Let's Plays. I'm kinda just going to be gauging them off of uh, your guys' enjoyment and stuff like that. Uh, also, I'll be making a full review of Loop Hero uh, here in a day or two as the game's about to come out, so definitely stay tuned for that. Subscribe, ring that bell like all the big boy YouTubers say. Um, and just thank you guys so much for watching. I've been getting so much support from you guys lately, so much positivity, and I just love the community that we're building building here um, around, you know, people that love roguelites and, you know, occasionally when I branch off to do some indie game or FPS or whatever, but I, I just enjoy you guys um, so much. I appreciate you all so, so much. So thank you all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're going to be grinding out some games of Loop Hero, I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.